Now we get to work the heels. When you get to the sole side, so the beginning of your rounds of the sock, so sole side will be plain if you're doing a ribbed sock, or just the beginning of the rounds if you're doing a plain sock. And um, if, the, if you're doing them for yourself or somebody that you can measure them on, then this point has to reach the crease where your foot meets your um, leg. So if, say, this, say, this is, say this is my foot here. So move out of the way bracelet. So um, where your foot meets your leg, just to, not right at the bottom, just a t oh, there's a nice bit of flab there. Just a tiny bit up from from there, so to the crease, and then just a just a tiny bit, so that then you can work the heel here. Okay, and what we're going to do to work the heel, we're going to do short rows. So here's one I made earlier. Um, so we're going so the stitch count. That, uh, the stitches that are worked each row are going to get less and less and less till you get to the top of the heel here and then these stitches aren't wrapped so these stitches are wrapped these stitches aren't wrapped and then we turn it around and we increase the amount of stitches so you get this nice pocket of heel so here we are two socks ready for their heels to be knit. So we start by having all the stitches on both needles nice and neatly, grab hold of the stitches on this front needle, pull out the back needle, so we have a nice amount of cable on this side and a nice amount of cable on this side to work easily and we're going to knit. So our yarn is at the back and we're going to knit all the way across to the last stitch of this first sock. And the yarn I'm using here is Malabrigo sock and it is in colour Archangel I believe. So that's if that card to go by. <laughs> This is Malabrigo sock in colour Archangel. If I'm wrong about that, I'll put it in the notes. But I think that's what this is. So, knitting all the way across to the last stitch, which we're then going to wrap. And here we are. Now, to wrap this last stitch, we're going to bring the yarn forward, slip that stitch purlwise, all stitches that are slipped are going to be slipped purl wise which means that you put your needle into the stitch as if you're going to purl it and then just slip it off and then this yarn goes to the back don't worry if that's don't worry if that stitch is looking a bit loose we'll tighten that up later so yarn to the back so that stitch is now wrapped and uh, if you were to do a wrap and turn you'd turn now but because we've got to go on to the next sock we're going to, just going to leave that wrap so make sure the yarn is still at the back and then we go to the next sock and the yarn is at the back for that ready to knit nothing tangled all nice and neat and across we go so you just do exactly the same oh make sure that you're not leaving a gap there or we'll have a ladder so we're going across again Knitting across all these stitches until we get to the last one, which we're then going to wrap just like the first sock. Wrapping or wrapping and turning is a very simple process, nothing to be afraid of here. And what was that last stitch? Okay, so last stitch, bring the yarn forward, slip purl wise, yarn to the back. And now we can turn because we don't have another sock waiting here. So turn clockwise. Now the instep stitches 
are going to be left on the cable. So there's no need to push this cable in now like you were when you were knitting a tube. Just leave that where it is. And this ball of yarn. Our yarn is forward because we put the yarn to the back. So our yarn should be forward now. And then we're going to slip this wrapped stitch purlwise. And now you can see that it's wrapped. And then we're going to purl all the way to the last stitch of this sock. So each time you work a row, you're going to be purling or knitting one less stitch each time because there'll be one more wrapped each time until you get to the amount of unwrapped stitches in the center that you're supposed to have. And of course you'll end on a purl row because you began with a knit row and you like to have things nice and even so you work a knit row, work a purl row, repeat until you have the right amount. And here we are at our last stitch. So to wrap a purl, we're going to send the yarn to the back, slip it purlwise, bring it forward, and then move on to the next sock. Our yarn is at the front. Slip that first wrap stitch purlwise, and keep purling, and then we can see the wrap going around that stitch there. Hopefully I've got the focus in the right place so you can see that. If not, I'm going to have to take some pictures. Um, if you'll notice my yarn is slightly crimped. It's because I've just done this process but it wasn't, it wasn't in clear enough focus. Um, you could have still understand what I was doing but the stitches just weren't crisp enough to see. For my liking, anyway. Focus is something I'm learning about, both in using my camera and in general life. <laughs> so we're pulling along to the last stitch of the sock. And here it is. And then we're going to send the yarn backwards, slip that stitch purlwise, and bring the yarn forwards. So that that will be wrapped when we turn it around. So we turn it that way. Move the yarn so they're not going to tangle. So our yarn now is at the back. It's a little less cable in here. Um, I'm going to slip that first stitch purlwise. So now that's going to be wrapped and then knit along. to the last stitch before the next wrap stitch or the, or the stitch before the last wrap stitch and when I say the last wrap stitch I mean um, the one that you're going to encounter next so the last wrap stitch that was worked at this end of this particular piece of the sock because if, technically that was the last wrap, last wrap stitch worked, but we're not going that way, we're going this way. So our last wrap stitch, because we've only done one each side, is going to be the last stitch. So that's our last wrap stitch. This is the stitch before it, so we're going to bring the yarn forward, slip that stitch purlwise, and then take that yarn back. So that stitch will be wrapped. Then we're going to just slip that other stitch because uh, we need it out of the way so we can get to the next sock. In the next sock we have our yarn at the back. We're going to slip that first stitch so it's wrapped and knit to one stitch before the last wrap stitch. the next wrap stitch. One stitch before the next wrap stitch. Is that better wording? I 
hope this is a nice crisp focus now. So here we are. This stitch has already been wrapped, so we're going to wrap this one. Yarn forward, slip it curlwise, yarn back. And then we don't have to move that one because there's no other sock here to work on, so we can just turn. So that's a, a wrap and turn. So here we have our yarn at the front. Going forward, then we're going to slip that first stitch so that it will become wrapped and curl. So we have two wrap stitches now on the end. So now we're going to purl to one stitch before the next wrap stitch. Very busy on the road at the moment. Quite noisy with all the traffic going by. Don't know what I can do to stop that. Maybe get a different microphone. There's an idea. And here we are. One stitch before the last wrap stitch. So we're going to go yarn back, slip pearl wise, yarn forward, and then slip this that other wrap stitch because it's in the way. It's in the way of us getting to this next sock. So we have a wrap stitch from before that just needs to be slipped out of the way and then we're going to slip that next wrap stitch. Now it's wrapped all the way around and we're going to purl to one stitch before the next wrap stitch. So here we have our two wrap stitches. You can see their little wraps around them there. Hopefully you can see this. Hopefully you can see those wraps around there. If you can't see them on this video, you'll see them in your own knitting. I'm trying to make this as clear as possible. With the technical equipment that I currently have. Which is a very nice camera. I love my camera. So here we go. Pulling across to the last stitch before, I mean the stitch before the last wrap stitch. So we know that it's this one because this last stitch was already wrapped. So yarn back, slip pearlwise, yarn forward. And we don't have to slip that one because there's no other sock to get to, so we just turn. Our yarn now is at the back, so we're going to slip that first stitch to wrap it and then carry on knitting and we're going to knit all the way to one stitch before the next wrap stitch. And uh, this is that you just carry on doing this, uh, working a knit row, wrapping the uh, stitch before the next one that you come to, always um, slipping the first stitch pearl-wise, the first stitch that's you're not, you're not um, well actually all the stitches that you're slipping are slipping pearl-wise. Okay so here we are, here's the stitch that we're going to wrap now, so yarn forward, slip that stitch pearl-wise, yarn back and that's an easy one to see because the colour is quite different between the wrap and the actual stitch and then just slip these two out of the way. And don't worry if these look really long and loose. We'll tighten those up later. We slip that wrap stitch out of the way and then slip this wrap stitch. Our yarn should be here, here it is. Oh, I just knocked the camera, hopefully it's okay. Um, so there's our first our second wrap stitch on this side and then we're going to knit two one stitch before the next wrap stitch and I'm going to do this row and then one more purl row on the video to show you and then I'm going to carry on until I've done 
the rest of the wraps and the knitting and the purling until I've got the required amount of wrapped and unwrapped stitches before I do the second part of the heel on video. So we, here we are, two wrapped stitches here. This one's not wrapped, so bring the yarn forward, slip it purlwise, yarn back and turn, making the yarn forward. Switch yarn so we don't get tangled. Slip that stitch to complete its wrapping and pull. Two. The next stitch, the last stitch before the next wrap stitch. Now pulling, 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 pulling. And these rows will get the amount of knitting and pulling that you have to do between the wrap stitches gets less and less at this point and then when you do the second part of the heel you get more and more and more until you're back to knitting and put knitting the same amount of stitches that you had before okay so we've got one two wraps there this one is not wrapped so yarn back Slip it purlwise, yarn forward, and then just slip those last two out of the way. Slip these two out of the way from the other sock. Slip this stitch to wrap, bring the yarn forward to wrap it. And there we have three now. Three on this side, three on this side. So when you're when you've finished your Pearl row each time you should have the same amount of wrap stitches each side on each sock. So I'll have three each side when I get to the end of this row. And um, and that number will get one more uh, for each knit and pearl row that I do until I have the required amount wrapped and unwrapped. And then we can do the second part of the heel. So, one more. Here we go. These two are wrapped. This one isn't. Yarn back. Slip it polewise. Yarn forward. And turn. So, you can, oh, you can start to see that there's a slope happening on either side. For the shape of the heel and of course the heel only happens on this side these um, instep sti stitches uh, go straight into the leg and the thing there's no heel on the top of the foot it's all happening on the bottom stroke back of the foot okay so I'll carry on and do these and then um, video the next bit okay now we have the required number of stitches wrapped and unwrapped and our little pocket of heel is beginning to take shape and slope sides there it is looks like that from the side so the stitches on the needle are wrapped our yarn is at the back because we're on a knit row. So that first stitch is going to be slipped pole wise and then we're going to knit along the row until we come to the next wrap stitch. So there are less stitches to knit now. Worked all of those. So here is our first wrap stitch. Now what we're going to do is we're going to knit the wrap and the stitch together. Now the easiest way I can figure out how to do this is to slip that stitch and then pick up the wrap, pull that stitch back and then knit them together. So and pull that nice and tight. So stitch and wrap and knit, uh, work together and then we're going to wrap this ne next wrap stitch again. So this it's going to have two wraps on it, so yarn forward, slip purlwise, yarn back, and now that's got two wraps. And then we're just going to slip the rest of the stitches out of the way. 
and slip these first few stitches out of the way on the next sock till we get where's my yarn hitches till we get to that first stitch is going to be wrapped so we slip that curl wise and then we knit all the way across to the next wrap stitch more and here we are so I'm going to slip that curl wise pick up the wrap pop that stitch back and then knit them together and I'm going to wrap this next stitch so yarn forward Slip it curlwise, yarn back and turn. And as before, we're going to slip the yarn forward, we're going to slip this first wrap stitch and then purl to the next wrap stitch. wrap stitch so I'm going to slip it pearlwise, pick up its wrap, pop that one back and then purl them together. Nice and tight and then I'm going to wrap this next one so yarn back, slip it pearlwise, yarn forward and then slip all these out of the way. You can, if you can do it cleanly enough you can slip a few at a time and then again slip these wrap stitches from the next sock out of the way. And then here's the first stitch to be wrapped, I mean the last stitch to be wrapped, and then purl to the next wrap stitch. So this stitch and its wrap, so I slipped it across, pick up the wrap, pop that stitch back and then pull them together. And then we're going to wrap this next one, so yarn back, slip it pearl wise, yarn forward, turn and then yarn is at the back and then we do the same again. So pull that first stitch making it wrap and then knit. Now the only difference now is that all wrap stitches are going to have two wraps on them so they're going to be wrapped twice so instead of knitting the stitch and it's wrapped together you're going to be knitting the stitch and it's wraps together so you have two wraps to pick up and here we are so I'm going to slip that stitch pick up two wraps pop the stitch back and then knit those three loops all together so the stitch and two of its wraps and then I'm going to wrap the next stitch and slip the remaining ones out of the way. And slip these ones out of the way. There's our stitch with its two wraps. And we slip that and then knit to the next wrap stitch. And we'll have two wraps as before. All the way, all the way, all the way. All the way across. One more. And here it is. Stitch. Two wraps. Knit them together. And then wrap the next one. Turn around. It's going to have it two wraps. Slip it. Curl. So, as before, I'm going to finish this off, all of this heel off camera, and then I'll show you the next little bit when I've done those stitches. And I've finished working all of these wrap stitches. So two wraps here, up, pull all those through together and wrap the next one. Come on back. 
slip it, yarn forward. Slip, 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 slip. Slip, 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 slip. Make sure you're going cleanly through those slip stitches. Here's the first one to slip. And wrap. And then purl to the next wrap stitch. Since it's approaching. Come on, wrap stitch, where are you? Next one. Here it is. Slip it pearl wise, pick up the two wraps, pop that one back, and then pearl on all together. Make sure you go through that nice and cleanly. And then wrap the next one. So that's got two wraps. And turn and carry on until all those stitches are worked so you need to come back to um, a right side row so now you can see that heel forming and a nice pocket there for your heel okay i'll be back in a bit on the last two rows of working the heel your last stitch is going to be wrapped so you're going to work the stitch and it's two wraps together and then you won't have another stitch next to it to wrap, so you'll just turn around. So the last stitches on each side will be um, a wrap stitch that'll be knit, knitted or worked or pulled together with its wraps and, um, and then turned around. So here this last stitch has been knitted together with its two wraps and our heel is finished. And now we're going to start knitting the leg. Now, in order to close up this gap that's formed between the instep and the heel, we're going to pick up this bar that's lying in between the last instep stitch and the first heel stitch. So in this sort of whale, we could pick up the first bar, put it on the needle and knit it together with the first heel stitch. And then we're just going to keep that nice and tight. My bar's a bit loose because I've been doing this a couple of times, trying to get the focus right. And then we're just going to knit across all the way to the end. Nice neat knit stitches. And then do the same with the second sock on this side and on the instep side. Trying to move that heel out of the way so it's not getting in the way of my camera's focus. I'm trying really hard <laughs> to get the focus right on this camera. It's, it's been a challenge for me, I have to say. Okay, so all those stitches knitted and now the next one there's my yarn here it is so as before we're going to pick up this bar top bar that's connected to the last heel um, instep stitch I'm going to pick that up and pop it on the needle and knit it together with our first heel stitch Pulling the arm nice and tight. <laughs> that bar's really loose now of mine. <laughs> I think I've done it four times. Oh well. Four times a charm. <laughs> so I'm going to knit all the way across. Uh, beautiful heel stitches. And if you're doing a ribbed sock, this will be your last row of plain knitting. From here on out, ribbing all the way. And we're at the end. Last stitch, very loose because I've done this several times. And turn it around. And now we're going to start working our instep stitches again for the legs. So wish me luck that I can get these stitches onto my needle because, oh, squeak, squeak, squeak. They've been worked so many times. 
have gone quite fluffy. They're going on there. It's much easier the first time you do it. Okay, on they are. And I've pulled out the needle at the back. I'm going to switch my yarns over. And as before, I'm going to pick up this bar that oop, I'll stitch close to the edge. Closer to the tip. There we go. I'm going to pick up this bar that's attached to that first instep stitch and I'm going to put it on the needle and I'm going to knit it because it's a knit stitch. First stitch is, first stitch is a knit, knit stitch and it's very tight. Can I get in there? Can I get in there? Come on. Oh my goodness. I've got a bit of it then, not the whole thing. This is only because I've been working these stitches over and over again. Okay, there we go. I'm in there. So I get the yarn and bring those stitches nice and close together and knit those two together. Pull it a bit tight, close that gap, and then we're going to continue ribbing across. If you if you have chosen the plain stitch, a stockinette stitch option, this is all going to be knitted. But I like a ribbed sock, I have to say. I'm not really bothered about patterned socks. They don't really excite me. <laughs> I like plain or ribbed socks and let the yarn do all the talking. Oh, I do hope this is in focus and it's not just a blur of my fingers. Oh, my focus has been picking up on my hands or the tablecloth or anything in the background rather than the stitches. And I am new to this. So I'm going to find out more about it and make better quality videos. And that's the last one done. And so same again with the second sock. <laughs> These stitches are so loose on mine. <laughs> They've been worked so many times. So I'm picking up the bar. Oopsie, that's two bars. Picking up this bar. Oh, that's why I had trouble before my stitch was twisted. There we go. Picking up this bar. Yours won't be twisted because you won't have undone it several times. Um, pop it up there and then knit these two together. It's still a bit tight, I have to say. It's still a bit tight. I'm pulling on that. I'll push that closer together and then it can make it a bit looser. There we go. I'm in there. Put this nice and close together so that yarn is tight and knit those two together. Keep it tight for the next one, put those two together and then continue ribbing across. Not too pulsy, all the way across. <laughs> My stitches are reluctant to slide on this needle. I've had enough. Keep on ribbing all the way across. Love this yarn. Makes wonderful socks. And two more knit stitches. Okay, so that's the first round of the legs done and it's round I might not even attempt this yet because my stitches are so sticky on my needles from my hot hands 
I've been doing them so many times. <laughs> okay. So, you can see that that gap's closed up a bit. Uh, and it will t continue to close as you work in rounds. Um, so this next round is going to be all rib. So because my last two stitches were knit, the first two are going to be purl. And the same with the second sock. So here we go. If you wanted just a little ankle sock, you don't have far to go. Me, I'm going to make these as long as I can. So there you go. Beautiful heel with short rows.